What is up everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming bringing you the Brutal Age Partner Guide number 12. This is on the the Green Desert Prince, which the the Green Desert Prince there's no way to get them except for the spin turtles. So you have to get really lucky. Uh, so if you win the lottery like once a week or sold your soul to the devil, then you you might already have them. <laughs> I think the only the only hero better than the Desert Prince is probably the Blue Nomad. And this is going to be a pretty fast video, so I'm going to have to move fast. There is, a, I'm building a website to go to co coexist with the YouTube channel. So if you miss anything, or if you'd rather just read it, or you'd rather look at it differently, you can go to the the website. It's not ready yet, but I'll, in future videos, I'll have the address for it. So look forward to that. So the Desert Prince has three main attacks, two actually main attacks, and then a sub attack. Uh, First is the Machete Sandstorm. The Machete Sandstorm is just uh, it's basically a uh, triple hit and it is super effective especially if you use the right war pattern. We'll get into that in a little in a little bit. The second is called the Hovering Strike Attack. It's when he uses like a hawk disappears from his arm and, and hits six random targets in one attack. So that's six hits in one. The uh, the Sandstorm attacks three hits in one. So he's got a multi-hit attacks all over the place. He also has this thing where it does with the action bar. When when an, when an enemy attacks him, he recovers like 25% of his action bar before they hit him. And at the end of the, every round, uh, randomly someone on the team recovers 25%. So he's got all kinds of recovery going on. I would suggest using Saya. She has the stun effect on on her war patterns. And it is a per hit type thing with, with Saya. If anyone's ever used it... Um, if we slowed this down to like 100 speed because it's going so fast, you'd see that every single time he hits, you see Saya, 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 Saya. Because every time he hits, he has a chance to stun the enemy. And as we get into it a little more, there's even more he does on every single hit. For the war patterns though, the left hand, you hear it all the time, left hand speed. For the second through fourth attribute, try to get hit, hit point percentage or attack percentage. Now mine, I have attack percentage on all three. So you can also use attack percentage on the left hand, but make sure you try to get as much speed in the second through fourth attributes. Try to get speed in every single one of your war patterns. Um, for the head and the right hand, I would definitely suggest going with attack percentage. You don't need to get hit point percentage or defense percentage. You go with attack percentage and then try to get speed or critical rate or critical uh, damage for the helmet and then for the right hand just try to get the um, the, the hit point or in, in speed for in that in that hit that's also very important to get hit uh, for the chest left foot right foot they're all they're already uh, designated but try to make sure you get percentage on the second through fourth attribute and don't settle for the pluses now if you don't know already wolf it takes two wolf to make a, a war pattern it gives you, I believe, 12% on the critical rate. I would suggest trying to get his critical rate all the way up to 100. And you can settle for right around 100. And then at, after you get his critical rate up to around 100, then you can start making, you know, you can start working on other parts of the war patterns. What I've been doing is I've been, if I have four or five, five star right hand, for example, I'll, I'll actually upgrade them to, to the third level, sometimes even the sixth. Just so I can start seeing what's behind, you know, behind the curtains. Um, I would suggest using elite war patterns. He is an elite hero. There's one better than him. So he's the best of the best. If you have a bunch of elite war patterns that you already can see all four attributes and you know they're all good. He's the one you want to dump them on. Use, use the very best you have on the, the Desert Prince. Because he's going to lead the way in, all, in most of your attacks. Uh, now, if you do use the attack percentage on, on the left hand instead of speed, just make sure you try to get speed in every other war pattern. I have speed, I believe I have speed in every one of my war patterns, and I think I have it at, on as a second attribute up to like 14 on one of them, so I, I, I know it's a little luck to get them on as a second attribute or fourth if you don't have it for the first on the left hand, but try to make sure you have speed. The reason is, he inflicts slow, so if he does a critical... If he does a critical rate shot, he inflicts slow. So not only is he attacking with Saya, which can stun, but he can also inflict slow on the enemy on each hit. Not each attack, but each hit. So it's really important to try to get his speed up there because he inflicts slow. He does great with these speedster teams. The speedster team, of course, is the Green Dragon Man. Uh, anyone that ha that will give speed as a leader ability, like the uh, Blue Black Shaman, uh, the Blue Daggers, also his attack gets increased with speed. Um, 
Ursula. That's Ursula, right? <laughs> Uh, her attack gets increased with speed, I believe, or she she's a speed for for the leader ability. So try to put him in there with a, with a speedster team or with the stunning team. Uh, the stunning we we have all seen the stunning team. That's like the blue boar. The um, I believe all three of the demon killers do uh, have a stun effect on, on their attacks. But I know the green with that earthquake where he can stun the whole team. Uh, there's there's actually several. I believe the blue the blue elephant's another one that when he stomps he can freeze or 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 stun the whole team. I think red elephant does the same thing. Also the shielding troops like the the green catfish fighter and the blue drum beater, they're both excellent with them. Uh, the, the believe it or not the green berserker he does that sp he inflicts speed on himself and can freeze the the opponents. And then uh, you have the the red guitarist who is not only a healer but she can also stun when she attacks. So you have all of these great options that you can use with him, and I didn't put up all of the most elite of the of the heroes. Those are all pretty fairly accessible for, for everyone. So build a good team. Uh, make sure you enhance. Th these are easiest tips for the green uh, desert prince. Jeez, get tongue tied every video. <laughs> make sure you enhance with Sire for the stun effect. Try to get his critical rate over a hundred. That that way you have the best chance to get, to. Inflict the slow effect and you had the best chance for the stun effect uh, Also use your elite war patterns use the war patterns that you already see three or four of the attributes to make sure you can get a really good War pattern on them. Uh, I believe only the blue nomad will outrank him So if you the second you get him you stop upgrading everyone else and you immediately take him to six star You won't regret it. I'd like to like, take the last couple seconds to thank everyone for for your support I've got a lot of support heard a lot of good things. So I'm gonna keep making the videos everyone keep on watching uh, don't forget I've got a website coming out soon so I appreciate everyone till next time it's been easy